Hey guys, Todd Huey with Lone Star Boards. Today we're going to be doing an overview of the IR Patrol Thermal Monocular. This is the M250 version. This is just a monocular. It's not weapons mountable. Uh, it doesn't work as function as a clip-on. It is strictly a monocular. It has an 18.8 millimeter lens with an f1.2 aperture. Mm. The front focus is a manual focus ring. The rear eyepiece is what a lot of us are used to with the standard PVS-14 rear eyepiece with adjustable diopter. Here we have the battery compartment. The standard battery compartment holds one CR-123 battery, so a very re readily available battery these days. With one battery, this unit will run 1.5 hours at 60 hertz, or it will run two hours at 30 hertz. There's also a battery extender that you can buy that will double your compartment, and at 60 hertz, you will get 3.5 hours of use, and at 30 hertz, you will get an amazing five hours of use. So with the battery extender and at 30 hertz, you could pretty much use this thing all night long and not have to worry about it. The M250 comes with the Wilcox mount for mounting it to your helmet. They all have the download port where the unit can take pictures in the, you can take pictures with the unit. This is where you would download your pictures from, or you can attach a cable to a DVR or such device to record your video or what you're actually seeing through the unit. Um, I have found that after doing some video, the video that this unit puts out is degraded from what you see in the in the actual unit. What you see in the unit is is way better than than the video out. So. That's one thing that I do not like, but when you when you see the videos from this, that my comparison, I'll talk about that. But it does, it's it's a significant amount of of resolution loss. This is your control for your menus, and also your power on button. It's a it's a joystick. It's actually I, I really like this. It's a very neat idea. You press and hold to turn the unit on. Of course you. This unit has no lens cap. You would it automatically nukes itself at the beginning, so you would want to turn it on and have it the lens covered so it'll nuke. And then you use left, right, up, down to go through the different menus, and I'll show you the menus here in a second. From the people that I've talked to that have been using this, they recommend that you nuke this thing in the first five minutes, five or six times, and it'll really stabilize it and keep it from degrading as fast. The longer it's on, the, the less times that you have to nuke it. But at first, when everything's warming up, you're, it's better to nuke it several times at the beginning. There's also, once you get into screen, just like you turn the unit on, if you press the button again, there's a quick command mode, which has nuke, take pictures, program. Uh, another option is for helmet mounting, you can flip the screen 180 degrees for helmet mounted use, so you're not looking at everything in the menu upside down. The menu is, is custom, customizable, where you can change up the menu to however you would like it. Also, you have the options of setting for, we'll see here in a minute on the screen, where everything will disappear. If you're not hitting any buttons or hitting the controls at all, you'll get a nice clear screen without all the the noise and all the information on it. It'll just go, but if you touch the, the joystick again, everything on the menu will pop up for you. This unit was sent to me by Third Coast Thermal, a sponsor of Lone Star Boars. And if you buy one of these units from them, it comes included with a lens cap that doesn't come from our patrol. And it comes with the battery extender at no additional cost. And we'll just go into the menu section here. At the top here, you start with a plus.
clarity on the first screen. You have three different levels of white hot. Each one has a varying level of contrast to it. Then you have three levels of black hot. And then you have what they call edge detect, which is a black screen. If anything's out there hot and alive, it puts the white line around it. You have your standard 1x, 2x, 4x, and digital 8x. Here's your brightness control. Next you have the focus. You can go from sharp to soft. You have contrast, high to low. High contrast gets a lot of, of noise in the screen. I recommend low contrast. And then of course at the bottom is your nuke. We'll go back up and go to screen number two. On screen two, you have your image capture where you can take the image, whatever you're looking at, then to preview the image, and then to download the images or delete the images. Screen three is your frame rates, 30 and 60 hertz. You must be on 60 hertz to record. There was your video out, startup settings, the sleep mode, and then symbol rotation if you're going to helmet mount. Here's just a little bit of video that I took out in the backyard. It's very humid. We've had nothing but rain, but this gives you, this is my dog in the backyard and it's about 10 to 15 yards away. Again, the details not as good because of the humidity. If you have any comments or any questions, please comment below and ask your questions. Please don't forget to like the video. And if you have not, please click here to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.